hands on cooldown. It is. Um, so I'm just going to do the one that Devin did. And I'm going to do it for the Xeno Wi-Fi Monthly right now. Hey, welcome to Winner's Finals. We got Zane versus Amaryllis, a New York classic. I feel like I feel like we've seen um, I feel like we've seen this set play out many a time here at Xeno Wi-Fi, and that's probably because it has. Um, now I'm curious. I'm I'm curious to see what the head-to-head -head is between these two players. Um, Right now, the head-to-head -head seems to be a big, big advantage for Zane, managing to dish out about 89%. But ah, this is the thing. As Duck Hunt, you know, kind of outplays the opponent for a long period of time, you know, like, oh, look at the mm. can. Expertly placed. Oh, look at all of these projectiles. And then Bayo hits him and manages to do all that percent right back. Right. Okay. Oh, that's another. And it was it. It was enough time on the witch time to get that S match. Amaryllis not adjusting the game plan in the slightest. Everybody's. Uh, Kevin's getting a giant fist. Zane's getting a giant fist. Check your mailbox because you might be getting a giant fist too. Don't check your mailbox. You yeah, don't want true. the giant fist. Yeah. Unless you're into that like sort of thing. Boxing gloves gonna pop out on a on a spring. <laughs> uh. Is Amaryllis secretly the Joker? I've been waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess. Uh. Um, anyway, so ooh, managing to make up. We were talking about how, oh, Bayou has all these combos. And by we, I mean me. It's <laughs> whatever. But uh, let's not forget that when Zane puts, him, puts themselves in a really good spot and just they can do a massive combos themselves. I'm looking on Smash Data, and it seems and Smash Data is suggesting that these players have never played online before, which I refuse to believe. Um, I mean, Amaryllis has been. I, I, I mean, maybe. Who knows? I mean, I'm. Oh, here we go. I was, I was looking. I think I was looking in the wrong place. Um. Meanwhile. Zane is uh, holding a stock lead, but for how long is the real question? Well, it's important to remember that Bayo, I mean, we've been seeing Zane, uh, sorry, Amaryllis rather, take all these stocks with these big, meaty smash attacks and these back airs at the low. Uh, but if the opponent is very aware that that's what he's looking for, and in this case, Zane definitely is. How else are you actually gonna even forward throw at the ledge at 160 is not enough. And okay, gonna take the trade right there. Can detonating on both of them. That is a little bit of extra credit for Zane, but finally the stock count has been evened up. Even if ugh, it's still a pretty scary place to be if you're Amaryllis. Holy crap. I think this is the first time Zane and Amaryllis have played online. That's I think that's, the two of that's, them. That's, I think the two Shocking of them were basically playing a lot of Wi-Fi, non-contiguous. Oh, like not at the same time. And okay. right there, cleaning it up. That's still that's still surprising to me. So, um, Zane draws online first blood in this head-to-head -head player matchup against Amaryllis. Uh, which means that Zane is going to lose the set because we are going to have game five reverse three out. So That's true. Well, no, we game for before we need we need Zane to win the next game. I know, but I'm saying that. Confirmed. Yeah, yes. yeah, but we are on that path. It's it's. Let me let, let we'll say right now. It's not looking good for Zane. <laughs> no, we can we can run a prediction right now. Uh, if we if, if we ran a a Twitch chat prediction right now, I'm putting all my three point three thousand dev points into uh, into Amaryllis stonks right now. I mean, okay, so that's that's how you are if you if you follow you know the the, the, the you know if you've read the script. But mm. if you're gonna look at the actual game and you're gonna think about how that last and game finished, why would you do that? Uh, um, because uh, there's only so much dead air I'm that sorry, you gotta continue. fill up in between matches. Uh, but the thing is that, uh, oof. Um, 
at that last stock, once you got to that last stock situation, it felt like Amaryllis kind of patience wore out. Started approaching mm. a lot more aggressively, perhaps less, you know, cognizant of the sort of uh, setups that, okay, that uh, Zane had been putting in his way. So let's see how those final stock situations pan out this time around, because at the very least, Emeraldus has started off this game being relatively, or at least at this, similar to how it was before, but now at 102%, trapped at the ledge, that's really scary. Don't DI in! Okay, no, you're fine. DI in all you want. You're, you're, you're fine. Ooh, what a, what a response here from Amaryllis. Um, ooh, okay. And we're seeing a little bit of the same play from Zane uh, as here as we did against Slingshot, where Zane was using the up air to cover high monkey flips. Zane might be able to get the same sort of utility trying to cover high ABKs. Yeah, and it's the sort of thing where when you're that high up, even if Bayonetta does manage to witch time you or something like that, she's not going to be able to get a great punish because she can't land on the ground and hit you with a smash attack too far in the stratosphere. Right. Um, oh, okay, I, I really like how Amaryllis has been using witch time here. But I also like the fact that he dashed away with an air dodge. I believe Zane saw that coming. Oh, oh but Goodbye. that time around, too close. And that's gonna be the stock taken, but 100% onto Amaryllis. One solid read from Zane will do it. But that's almost, that's almost a, okay. I was just about to say, that's almost a two and a half minute stock against Bayonetta, which is great. But in the last like 20 seconds, Zane's taken 80%, which is more than he took, like it took Zane 20 seconds to take the same amount of damage that it took like the previous two minutes. Okay, and that's trade. Then that's Zane definitely. gets the kill with a with can, and now we're Zane's looking to hold stocks. Where are you going? What are you <laughs> doing down there? What are you we're doing down there? Back. You can't. You can't. You can't go under the stage. Lancy, come back. <laughs> I mean, in the end, that's what happened. That despite all that crazy understage shenanigans, we see. Uh, we see Zane. Being perfectly fine. 112%. Yeah, this is scary. But, like, this is. I mean, for the this, most part, he's still, like, the smash attacks have been the only thing that have been reliably oh killing. Oh my god. And as long as Zane plays around it. Zane tried to end Emeraldus's life with that down air. Um, but, like, this, this game has been an absolute clinic in getting high stock value and extra credit damage when you have a stock lead. Because yeah. uh, this is another two-minute stock. Um, well, almost. Give it, like, yeah. 15 more seconds. And Amaryllis did not. So that's kind of rude. But, um, you know, some people just don't care about the points that uh, com uh, brilliant and handsome commentators are trying to make. And also me. Oh, jumps into that can at the end. And I, I want to say that for the most part, it feels like Amaryllis's last stocks, just he's kind of been struggling to do a lot with them. Uh, mm -hmm. Once you get to your last stock, it becomes a lot scarier because like every piece of damage that you take, especially if you're already down, just feels so much worse. Um, and as, yeah. especially at that point, because normally Duck Hunt can struggle to kill, but once the opponent is at like 150 and can will do the job, then as Zane, you can just throw can around, just do what you want to do. And if any one of them managed to actually connect, that's it. You win the game. Uh, that being said, a uh, huge misplay by Zane winning game yeah. two. Yeah. Uh, it's because on now, a rookie mistake. Classic blunder. Hate clearly was it. not watching the rest of the tournament yep. atop eight. Which is weird because he was, or Zane was in one of those sets. Um, it's like, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't have won those two games. That, like that's that's not what I would have done. Um, so here we are. Um, I mean, all jokes aside, um, and all no. and we, we call them jokes. They're very they're serious. <laughs> um, like we do have the script. I'm looking at it right now. Um, you know, it, it was sent to me in a a, a string envelope. Oh. Okay, this is what I wanted to talk about. This is one of the things I wanted to talk about in my perusing of. Um, pgstats.com 
Um, the two sets that these two that these players have played offline, Amaryllis, Zayn, Zayn is up 2-0 in sets in the offline matchup. Um, obviously not going to be up 3-0 because it's going to be another three, reverse 3-0, the, yeah. the script, etc., etc. However, in the two sets that Zayn won offline, uh, Amaryllis opted for a healthy amount of Robin in both sets, and I was really, really wondering if we were going to see any of the Robin, and we're really not seeing a whole lot of the Robin right now. <laughs> I mean, we're seeing the backside of the Robin as it gets kicked into the blast mm -hmm. zone. <laughs> but uh, some Fire this. Emblem fran fans who are freaks who'd like to see the backside of Robin. Oh, oh no! I'm not, I'm just talking about what I've heard. I'm not I'm I'm not speaking for myself. Meanwhile, I don't know, man. you can't you can't speak. I, there's a certain when somebody speaks their own personal truth. I entered I entered a fugue before. state. I can't be held responsible for my actions. Meanwhile. Um, Amaryllis would love to hold Zane responsible for their actions. That's a that's a hitbox on the down smash. Actually, no, that makes sense. Yeah, but no. Okay, maybe this will do it. There's so much, so much work that Amaryllis needs to do right now. That's the start of it, and 140 percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. It's not great, but at the same time. Uh, Robin has a ton of kill power. That's exactly what I wanted to say. That is exactly the, the, the point that I wanted to bring up. Um, as, uh, hopefully, Amaryllis can hold on to this stock long enough for me to make the point. Um, but uh, like, this is the one thing that Bayonetta doesn't quite have like Robin has, especially with Eleven Sword, is stray hit kill power. When it comes to these, like putting stocks, like Duck Hunt at 140, 130%, um, it, 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 Robin has the raw power on aerials and and uh, and smash attacks to just put Duck Hunt away. Um, oh, but all of that damage. Yeah, I made my point. Zane, you can finish the game now. Um, yeah, that's one thing also. Th okay, okay, never mind. On. Wait a second. It's not over yet. Um, I mean, it's it's going to look pretty rough. Now, one thing we hadn't really seen this set so far. Because one of oh, no, Levin. What is that? That's not a... That would, grab yeah, came it, from the future. It, that was a gunman confirmed grab. Robin's supposed to be the smart tent. Robin just got punked on by Zane. <laughs> uh, uh, like, Zane just sent this freaking master tactician to summer school. I hope you enjoy Zoom class. Oh my god. And then I. But the, did did they di they di in? Uh, I think. Can we get a uh, can we get a little bit of a freeze frame on that, perhaps? Maybe? Yeah. Where's the where's the uh, where's the angle indicator on that di? Oh man. Also, um. By the way. Yeah, that was a um, di up. Yeah, I mean, at that point, you just want to DI away. I think it might not have been true with a DI away. That sound you hear is me throwing the script into the shredder um, because uh, the script is now moot. Uh, we are in uncharted territory. I don't know what to talk about anymore. Um, actually, secretly, because he's... No, no, no. Okay, no, no. Sorry, sorry. This is the thing. Macro. Right? Gets 3 0'd Tell me. in winner's Tell me. finals, goes back, runs through losers, manages to 6 0. We still have proportionally the the the, the reverse 3 0, but now it's reverse 6 0 because we're in finals. 6 0. The double.